Now, Minister of State for Northern Uganda, Grace Kuyichini, uh, has lashed out to the government critics over the alleged government projects that have not impacted the lives of people in Northern Uganda. She, however, said government invested more in bigger infrastructure projects in the last five years that have affected the enhancement of the household incomes in the region. A recent report from government critics indicates that a majority of people in northern Uganda live below poverty lines despite of government efforts aimed at improving people's livelihoods in the region. Northern Uganda has received a lot of money, which is true, and who is the number one in this, but they are critiquing the results of this money. And sometimes when they tell me, they, they talk about three trillions given to Northern Uganda. It is believed that a huge amount of money was injected in the reviving of various infrastructure projects that were badly affected by insurgencies in the region. Do you know during the wars there were no schools infrastructure, there were no roads, there were no health facilities, there were no water points. This is what the money did. Among the projects that the money was channeled in the last five years include PRDP. Because all of you district local governments use the money for PRDP for infrastructure, not for livelihood, as it was directed. During the meeting with Gulu district local government, the minister remained wondering as to why such projects are not given much publicity. The, the minister in charge of finance at the district, you saw money came, and you saw how you allocated it to either groups or institutions or projects. And you know how the implementation took place. But now when this question is being asked, people keep quiet. This meeting was also aimed at finding lasting solutions to poverty and poor service delivery in the region. I bring procurement is bogging down service delivery. There are projects that we will get the details. That were all in 2019, but up to date, they are not complete. Attracting the age has become very useful for this district. We have advertised and advertised. And even if we try to promote, we don't have an office and we can promote again that impacting. The minister also inspected various projects in her docket in the region and later handed over a maize milling machine in Gulu City. We are going to expand our market. So we shall also now be able to support schools, institutions, even we may be able to export our product outside Uganda. The machine is aimed at supporting value addition in line with the pillar one in the implementation of parish development model. Joseph Oko, UBC.